Hello, my YouTube fam. Kevin here, aka the Tattoo Toy Hunter, and I'm coming to you today with my first ever DIY how to videos. This one is how to fix loose action figures. Now, uh, the idea came from my brother, fellow founder of the Tag Team Collectors, Sandman PR Vlog. We were discussing action figures, and he mentioned, you know, that he got a figure and it's very loose, and if I knew how to tighten up the joints and whatnot. I did not, <laughs> but I said I would do my research, and as you can see here, I have several that are just super loose. This Professor X Toy Biz being my loosest, look at that, it's just ridiculous. So, um, yeah, I would love to have learned how to fix it too, so I said, you know what, I'm going to do my research, I'll get back to you, because you know how it is, you have old toys that can be loose, and some that are great. You can buy brand new action figures, and right out of the box, they're already loose, so it's just one of those things. Anyway, like this one, it just will not stand for the life of me. So good thing he comes in a wheelchair because he just cannot stand. And I have multiple figures that are like that. Here's my uh, one of my 80s Moonstar from the Silverhawks. Look at that. He's just wobbly as heck. So it's just one of those uh, things, non-biased things that gets everybody. So anyway, like I said, I did my research. I found multiple methods that people discussed on, on the internet of how to fix them and uh i came up with a plan to experiment what i'm gonna do uh, apparently takes 24 hours to actually cure but we're gonna test it out so here you see uh the figures i have anyway this is what i'm gonna be using it's called brazo basically what you want to do is get some uh little paint brushes and you want to get any kind of floor cleaner that has a polishing agent to it, like a wax, some kind of polish. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually paint it in. I'm going to pour some here and I'm going to paint it into all the joints, all the articulated hinges. It's got to be plastic on plastic. If it has like a rubber band type hinge like the old He-Man's, it's not, of course, not going to help. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my old action figures. I'm going to get a lot of this... Uh, polish cleaner and I'm going to paint it and really get it into those little hinges. Now this would have been better with a clear. However, I went to two stores in my little my little town and I could not find a clear so I know this is going to be messy but just for the sake of doing the experiment I'm going to go ahead and use it. So you get it in there and you work that uh hinge back and forth back and forth make sure you get in there real good. I'm going to lather it up on all the sides that I'm actually going to work on. For my Professor X, it's going to be the knees and the hips. Those two area joints are, as you can see, it's super loose, wobbly. There's just no chance for him to stand. So I'm going to get in the back where there's most exposed hinge part, and I'm going to really try to get it in there real good. Once I get it all lathered up with this stuff and I work it in there, I feel as good as I can get it. I'm going to let him sit for 24 hours without messing with him. And I'm going to let it cure as what it's what I've read. It's going to cure and hopefully that wax build up. Just like if you wax a car, it builds layers and layers. And I hope it, what I think it's supposed to do is add friction into the, that area and tighten it up. So we're going to get him really good in the knees because that's where he's worst at. And also right inside here where his legs bend the upper thigh to the body. And I know, it's, like I said, it's going to be a mess to clean up, but... I'm willing to do it just for the sake of the experiment. I'm going to get his backside really, really good. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And we're going to just work it. You work it really good. You get that uh, polish cleaner in there as good as possible. I'm going to put a little bit more. I want it really lathered in there. And I hope this works. Whether it works or it fails, I'm still going to post this video, though, in 24 hours. That way, I mean, you learn either how to do it or how not to do it. So we're going to get our little moon star. And his area is really just the legs. It's uh, just the upper legs. As you can see, they're wobbly right at the upper hip. So uh, he his uh, hinges are a lot bigger and easier to reach. So we're going to just go ahead and lather up our cleaner again. 
And uh, I like buying these cheap brushes because I just throw them away. There's no reason to clean them when you get a million for a dollar. <laughs> so we're going to really get this into this hinge and then we're going to work it. We're going to work it back and forth and make sure we work that uh, polish way in there. See, he's got huge gaps because he's an old 80s toy. But uh, we'll give it a shot here. I'm going to work it in with a brush and then back and forth on the leg. Like I said, I think this will probably, if it works, it's going to work for almost any toy. So we'll give it a little work there for a while. Just make sure you rub it in and work it back and forth. It kind of forces that uh, polish to get all the way into the seam there. Okay, and our last figure is going to be the big show. His problem, well, the arms, but mainly I'm just worried about the head. If you see the head, it's like a bobblehead. It is so loose. And when you stand him up, he stands up fine, but the head just falls forward because there's no type of friction there. The head just, there's no way to pose the head. This is uh, just a dollar toy I got at Goodwill. So we're going to get our polish, our floor cleaner, with a brush still, because I don't think you want to make a lot of contact with your skin. So be careful about just using a brush you can throw away. And we're going to uh, really feel, I popped it off, we're going to feel the head and the top of the neck where it locks in with uh, more polish. So once we do that, we'll let it uh, cure and then we'll pop the head back on and then we're going to let it sit the required 24 hour time. This is actually a front pro fun project because taking two days to do it, it's pretty cool <laughs> so this guy's giving me a real hard time to lock back on there we go all right guys so we have the three guys ready we're gonna let them cure through the day and overnight and tomorrow we will uh see what happens okay so wish me luck later 24 hours later all right folks so it has been uh 24 hours almost to the to the minute since yesterday morning when i tried that when i started this project the guys have been sitting and as you can see it's a big mess because i got the white polish like i said instead of clear they do make clear i just couldn't find clear so use clear guys and uh i wiped them off with a wet towel and look at this they're still a little bit but i'm not worried about it they are standing. These guys, I swear, especially Professor X, he would not stand before. He was so wanky and wobbly and loose and Moonstar also. So I am extremely impressed with the polish method. I mean, he won't even need a wheelchair. I fixed him. I fixed Professor X. <laughs> anyway, I'm just so happy to see them actually... Look at him. He's so much more stable. This one used to just wobble like crazy. Look at it. Now you can strike a pose. I could never do that with him before. No kidding. And uh, even worse with Professor X. This guy, I only did the head. Well, the arms too, but the head was a problem. Look at that. Tight now. Just because that polish built up in there and dried. Look at him. This thing would wobble and just fall to the side. I am kid you not. I'm like extremely impressed with this. I never even thought to fix it. What I normally do with my loose figures is lean them up against another figure <laughs> or a stand. But look at these guys standing tough now. Look at this one. This guy was so darn wobbly, it was ridiculous. Look at this. He's got tight, snug. Look at that. I'm telling you guys, this is an amazing fix. I don't know long term. I guess we'll have to see. But building in that wax into the joint really did it. I am so surprised. This guy, if you look back at the beginning of this video even, it just wobbled like crazy. And now you can like strike a pose with this guy. <laughs> so I would definitely, definitely uh, advise this being one possible method of fixing your loose figures. It actually, actually works. Uh, I definitely, like I said again, I would say get clear polish, some other, like a, a pledge floor cleaner. But... I'm just so happy that uh, this DIY little life hack worked. So anyway, guys, we'll pan through the action figures here. You can see this, the leader of the X-Men standing strong. This is the Tattoo Twin reminding you never give up that hunt. Y'all take care. Pew, 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 pew.